Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me in another episode from our beta apps series. Uh, we'll go ahead and get in here and we are already in early access and um, we're still just on the beginning of this so we're going to go ahead and just kind of keep on trying some of these. Uh, I think this time we'll go ahead with this felt birthday uh, and we'll uh, click on that. Uh, it looks like, okay, well, it looks like a birthday card creator. So we'll go ahead and click on install there and uh, read down through it. Uh, cards for the modern world, sealed stamp. Okay. Oh, well, they actually create, uh, they actually create cards for you, it seems like. Um, all right. They have a subscription service and, uh, looks like you get to design cards uh, oh, and it looks like they're physical cards. So, uh, that looks pretty cool. Uh, let's read some more. Uh, now, of course, I'm going to be scrolling down through this. I'm not going to be, um, I'm not going to, uh, stay and read the entire thing. So if anybody wants to read this and see a better, um, view of it or get a better understanding of it, just go ahead and pause the video. Uh, right now, we're just going to, uh, kind of flip down through it. Now it does talk about high quality handwritten greeting cards, birthday cards, etc. And uh, it looks like they send them out. They actually set them up and send them out after you've uh, after you've designed them. And uh, pretty pretty interesting. Okay, looks like the the cards are four by four and a half inches, uh, and they call them card frames. So okay, um, looks like you can do accordion style. You can do multiples um, that look like they will tear apart with the perforations. Uh, they use uh, good paper and craft envelopes. And uh, looks like uh, not too bad, about three bucks. That's about what you pay for uh, a card at uh, the local store or something like that. So pretty, pretty right up the the alley there for for like a regular birthday card kind of cost or something like that and um okay it looks like they have a bunch of stock stuff uh you can also oh you can select your own photos as well so if you want to send family photos out say for for christmas greeting cards or something like that uh you can have the family picture on there and design it that way it looks like uh they've got the uh card frames and everything and uh let's see oh cool delayed delivery so you can design it now and have it sent off in the future so uh you know if you've got an upcoming uh holiday or birthday or something like that but you don't want it arriving too early you can uh, have them wait before they send it out uh, looks like you can save your progress you've got oh that's interesting you've got reminders and stuff of course so you don't if you don't have it on your calendar, you can uh, put it on this app and it'll let you know so that you can get uh, the cards sent out. Uh, pretty pretty cool. Looks looks pretty interesting. I, I think something like this would be something I'd try. Now they are on version 1.0.3.4. Oi. Alright, so it was updated. Now this hasn't been updated for a little while. Looks like it was clear back in October. Uh, but it has been downloaded quite a bit, so a handful of people are using this, over 10,000 downloads. And uh, it is about 50 megs to, uh, to save to the phone, so of course keep that in mind if you have limited uh, memory on your phone. So let's go ahead and click back and see, are we ready? Okay, it's ready to go. Alright, so we'll go ahead and get this started. Alright guys, so here we are. You can uh, see the app here. And uh, you've got the get started there. You've got featured designs, um, some information about uh, the company, and uh, uh, well, and features that they look like they're going to try and add. Uh, as you can see here from the recording, we are a few days away from Valentine's Day. Uh, looks like we definitely have enough time to get uh, some custom Valentines put out if we'd like to do that go ahead and click on the get started we're not going to go through and do a ton of these things but we'll kind of touch up on this okay so here we are here's the uh the card right there it looks like you can swipe to do the envelope uh we'll go ahead and click on the card there we can do greeting cards and photo cards we'll go ahead with the greeting cards because the photo cards obviously are just going to be pictures that are probably on your phone 
Um, now it does look like it has a handful of little selected features up here at the top. You've got featured and oh, okay, there we go. Looks like all the different categories um, that they've got. You've got the all picture, which looks like I'm guessing that's just going to be everything. Um, and you'll just kind of scroll through. And you've got this thing with all the little dots or little squares, I should say. Oh, there you go. You can uh, get a bigger screen. So if you want to get a general idea and then you can click on it and see it a little better uh, in the window. I think we'll go ahead and do it from there. And yep, there we go. So we've got... Here we go, we've got a holidays, we've got a thank you cards, birthday cards, thinking of you, miss you, love, stationery, and it uh, looks like just kind of some basic cards there, some get well cards, uh, got a mago, I'm not sure if that's the right way to say that, but that's the way I'm saying it, uh, let's see, we've got baby, and wedding for fun etc etc and that's i'm sure all the different yeah see there we go so you can see they have quite a long list there so pretty cool um let's see halloween ones where the halloween ones look there we go we got a couple of monsters there there we go okay so we've got a bunch of halloween stuff now of course since it's uh since it's valentine's let's see if we can find something for that coming up oh there we go valentine's day so we finally found it a um, little sensitive on the touch so uh be aware of that um hmm some of these don't these don't really look like uh all of them don't look like valentine's but some of them uh, so there you go. So let's, uh, we'll just, just kind of randomly pick one. There we go. We'll go with a little, I don't know, aardvark or whatever it is. So let's click on that. Maybe. Okay. All right. So there's what the front of the card looks like. There's the back of the card. Um, you can tap it to personalize, it says. So, okay. Gives you a little tutorial on what to do. Handwriting. Okay, so we will uh, zoom in to write better. Okay, well, is that what we do? All right, well, my little cruddy handwriting job on here. But uh, there you go. So we'll just write that down. And uh, there we go, Cougar from World of Me. So we'll go ahead and click on. Um, it looks like... There, we'll check that off. So there we go. So there there we go. You can fill up the card with your writing. And uh, obviously, if you uh, ha you all have better handwriting, I'm sure, than I do. I have uh, pretty horrible handwriting. Um, okay, so you can set up. Oh, send up to four frames. So four of the cards. So And what this is is a front and back card. Sort of like a postcard, I think, is what it looks like. It's not a fold-out uh, quite so much. But you can kind of make it that way if you do this accordion style, I think. So uh, there you go. So we can, uh, let's see, so swipe right to turn over. Well, it's acting a little janky there. So it might be something that uh, they still need to work on a little bit is the swiping. And then uh, the swipe to see the envelope. Like none of the swiping seems to be working. Uh, don't know. So that might be something that uh, you got to kind of worry about here uh, if you try to use it already. But uh, here later on, I'm sure they'll go ahead and get that fixed. And then you could, uh, of course, add a frame. You can start a new card. Um, there we go. St either way. And uh, so, so there you go. Um, go ahead and kick back out. Now this is that uh, felt handwritten cards app. And uh, you guys can go ahead and try it out. Obviously, uh, it's a little janky still. Um, obviously, you know, with the beta version, it's it's probably going to be. So, uh, you know, you could try it now and uh, see if it'll go through and work out for you. If not, uh, you know, wait and see if uh, see when they've got the new updates and everything. Uh, obviously, there was the creator's information in there, so you can, of course, contact them and find out when uh, new updates are going to be made or anything like that. 
All right, guys, well, that's going to go ahead and do it for me. My name is Cougar, and this is the world of me and our series on beta apps. And, of course, that's about all those uh, beta versions there on the Google Play Store. Uh, you guys have any uh, comments or questions, sh shoot those uh, down below. And uh, on your way down there, don't forget to hit our social media in the description below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we'll have a little thing floating around there for you to subscribe. And uh, don't forget to hit that uh, bell icon so you're notified of when we got new videos coming out. All right, guys. Well, I will see you later, and have a good day. Bye.